Hello. Welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason. This is basically what is this? I don't know. This is a live session. It is live, let me bore you to sleep, number 25. And you can actually leave a message if you want. Pretty sure that you are allowed to leave messages and I should see it. So yeah, uh, the whole point of this is, I want to see what, it's, <laughs> what it sounds like. It's kind of a tester really. But I want to see if the quality is okay. Um, always looking for new ways to to hear what's going on. But for some reason, Why is it not playing? Hmm. Oh, okay. It's because I haven't pressed play. So, I invite you to listen and to be part of this experiment. And I'm just going to talk, so I'll turn this off, turn off the TV, not TV, the internet. So if I put an embed copy and if I add this to my website maybe 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 I can allow people to listen on my actual website so bear with me two seconds. So ah, it's not working. So, still not working. Nope. So, yeah, this really is very, very boring. More boring than even I imagined it could possibly be. All I want is this to just, to embed it into a website. Why won't it allow me, allow me to embed it into, ah, okay, I know what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Get rid of that. I'm going to add this.
add a new post and see if this will work and I'm hoping I mean I know that I'm been talking for six minutes but my aim actually I'm going to turn the volume up hopefully my aim is to possibly be here for some time so I wonder if this will work yes it has it has worked very much so which is good so now this is going to be my play automatically yes full background photo no don't need that player theme light that'll do This is groovy, 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 groovy. Which means, if I just post this. Okay, need to give it a title. So, um, let me bore you to sleep. Number, what is it, 25? Twenty-five. Um, bum I'm gonna do this without recording it on the recording studio. So I'll just everything should be recorded on the iPhone on the speaker using a speaker app. Put out live, and it's really a case of whether or not you wanna watch it, which it, listen, listen to it, whatever. Let me bore you to sleep. Number. Oh, Andre, stop farting, Andre. Where's that thing? Like, you know, there's, there's certain keyboard bits, certain. Oh, that's it, got it. Number 25. Live. Okay. So. Post this, so this means it should be should 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 be good. Okay. Let me board his sleep 25. Right, any second now, and then I can go over there and not lay down but sit down and just get on with it. In fact, I might actually do other stuff as well while I'm talking to you. But the whole point is to just be boring with my natural ability. And that's it. So hopefully, 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 if I go to my website, it will be available to just click on, to just Click on the let me bore you to sleep. Yeah, let me bore you to sleep 25. I wonder if I don't put a picture on it, whether it will just come up as the thing so you can just listen to it there and then. I wonder. Hmm. 
Do, 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 do. Oh, anyway, so it's working, and I'm just going to turn the volume up to see if it's okay. Yep, it's working fine. So that's good. Oh, I'm ever so pleased. Ever so pleased. So share on Facebook. So I won't have all this big huffle per tuffle next time. Andre's coming up over here to Oh Andre don't knock everything off please please man please he will, he has to knock stuff onto the floor. He has no... It's like he's got no choice at all, he just has to do it. I don't know why. I really understood what the enjoyment is of doing that. He's going to do it now, so I'm going to have to go over. Off, off please, Andre, off. Good boy. He listened to me, it's the first time ever. Um, yeah, so that's all shared. So really, there's nothing. Oh, don't know what's going on there. Okay. Oh, well, that wasn't what I expected. This is all got a bit strange. Okay, so let me boy you sleep. Number twenty-five live. All you do is just go to the website and click on it. But if you're listening to it, if you're listening to it now, you won't need to go to the website because it's already here, I suppose. But at least um, it gives me more of a. Oh, someone's just sent me a text or a message. Okay, someone wants to sell two, two times vivs for sale, forty pound each. No thanks. Okay, here we go. So live now. Share the link. Okay, so it's gone on twice. Fix publisher. So that's it, there's nothing else for me to do but just to talk and talk and talk. So that's cool. It's nice to just have a little bit of calmness, you know? A bit of ooh. And it might be worth um It might be worth doing some kind of, I don't know, bit of preparation, but I started a little bit early today. I'm looking at maybe doing 10 to 12 normally, but as it's uh, a Saturday evening and I was actually a bit bored to be fair. so. Here I am, doing my thing. So, I'm just kind of, just gonna see if I can 
do it again. And uh, I'm just going to see if there's a way where, for those that go to my website, they can actually see, you know, have the, the button there straight away. Not the button, but the actual embedded thingy. There probably is a way of doing it. I'm just going to see if it's possible. Let me have a look. Andre's being naughty. He's trying to climb all over me while I'm trying to give you lots of enjoyable fun. He just doesn't understand. Okay, right, that didn't work. That's fine. Manage posts, get rid of that one. So this is what I'm going to perhaps plan to do over the coming weeks is do everything live on here and and just see how it goes, you know kind of getting a, an idea of what's going on and um, it's hard to know really who's even listening if there's anyone listening to be fair I don't know there might not be anybody but that's not my problem well it, no, it's not really anyone's problem it's just a uh, a thing in it, just what is. It is just what is. So, get rid of that. So, I might as well, while I'm here, might as well. What I've been doing, I don't know if I told you, I've been transcribing my sessions. So, so far I've transcribed now, I'm about to transcribe my 21st Hypnotic Buffet. So that's that's all the Hypnotic Buffets that I've done recently. So I'm about to transcribe that. And I will eventually edit all of them and then probably put them on to the internet. I say probably because, who knows, I don't know. I don't want to really guess at these things, but I, I probably will. It's just uh, how how I'm going to do it in what context. I mean, I could potentially edit them into some kind of a book, but uh, that's going to take effort and. I don't know if you uh, may have realised by now, but I'm very lazy. I don't like to really put much in the way of effort into anything. So it's, this feels wrong, you know? I don't like to put myself out really too much in any way. I like to just do as little as possible. That's my goal in life, really. <sighs> Just taking you into the kitchen. I'm going to turn the light on. Get myself a nice little drink from the fridge. wash the the top of the or rinse the top of the lid because 
I suppose all the rat, all the rat we. the last, like yesterday, my live broadcast was on YouTube, and I did record it on my, you know, my normal recorder, and so I kind of had both, but I'm thinking, why does that a, a weird, like a big fly or something land on my glasses? I've been thinking that I'd like to do as little as possible. Really. Uh, uh. Andre's about to climb up all over me. I'll make sure I keep him away from the microphone. Hello, mate. Hello. He's daddy's little monkey. He's daddy's little monkey. I love you. Yes, I do. Daddy loves his banana. His little banana. Yeah, I know you're a fairy. I can't stop calling you banana. He's my little prune. Hey, look at those little prunes. His little balls. Look at him. <laughs> what are you wiggling off? Oh. It's become a lot more cuddly lately. Andre has. He goes through phases where he he doesn't sit still for a second, you know, apart from when he's asleep. And then he had some other periods when he he will climb onto me. I'll be sitting in my big black squeaky chair, and he'll climb up and he'll just go to sleep on my lap, or just have a cuddle. And right now I'm holding him and he's closed his eyes and he's he's just laid back in my arms, in my hands and he's just laying there he's not doing anything he's probably listening to my boring voice and saying, go on daddy just keep talking so I can go bye bye ah oh. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll like scratch his ear, one of his ears, I say, because he's got two ears, and he actually pushes against my finger so that I sort of, so that I go like deeper into the ear, because he likes it, I guess, because that's a part that he can't actually get to himself. Even if he could put his fingers in there, it'd probably cause damage because of his nails. I don't put my fingers inside his ears, I mean, his ears are too little. Not that I would want to put my fingers right inside his ears because it's a little bit intrusive really, isn't it? I think something like that, he'd need some kind of written consent, wouldn't we? Yeah, some kind of contract. Give me your permission. He did a weird thing earlier, he did a wee on the floor in the kitchen. No, the ki not the kitchen, the bathroom. And he started licking it. So it's like, what's that about? Normally he like sniffs what he's just done. I'm not sure why, I mean, he's like, just... Maybe he's surprised. Maybe he's just constantly surprised. Or what? What's that thing that's just come out of my bottom? Like, ugh. Sniffs it and runs away. I don't think he'd make half as much mess if he had to clear it up himself. Imagine him at school, teacher catching him doing a poo on the floor. Andre, would you do that at home? Yes, miss. Yes, I would. Because he does. Why can't you behave the way you do at home? 
Because, miss, you don't have a, a pillowcase for me to wipe my bum on. Andre, he's so rude. So, only listen to this when you can say, <laughs> safely close your eyes as this may cause drowsiness as I just talk and it will variate it will variate between me talking about stuff telling some stories maybe that didn't really happen to really focusing on sleeping and how you feel. So it really will be a mixture. And just so you know that you can listen to this live on my website every time I record, depending on how well the audio is when I record it. I'm hoping the audio will be okay. It's not, um, it's not loud, loud. It's not too quiet either. But then, it, I don't think it really make that much sense if I was doing, if I was, you know, really talking loudly. I think that would maybe defeat the, some of the object of what I'm doing here. Not that there's much of a, an objective in mind really this is more of a kind of an experimental thing I'm possibly one of the only people doing this thing that I'm doing it's very you know there's no planning there's no script um, there never has been any script pretty much on anything that I've done So, you know, it's just, I guess it's more of the same. But, uh, recording this, well, not why I'm recording it, but to, to do this on the, set on the actual, um, iPhone app is, very new to me and I just realised something that my telephone could ring I forgot to turn off the you know, turn my phone onto uh, flight mode so if it does ring I'll just I'll get rid of it I hope it doesn't cut me off from the app if it does it's just a learning experience I guess so with this, I get 60, 120. Yeah, I get three hours worth of um, time per live session. I can talk for three hours before it, I get cut off. And that's the plan that I have with them. That's the subscription plan I have. Uh, but I can do as many three-hour sessions as I want in a day. And I have uh, the plan I've got is 500 hours maximum. And I've used about 260 hours of those with my other sessions that I have uploaded on the various podcasts on Spreaker. So there's still plenty of room. And yeah, plenty of space. But when I get to the 500 mark, I'll just upgrade it to a, to a higher level if needed. So, For me, you know, the whole point, as I said, I know I've talked about this before, but I sometimes feel like I need to keep repeating the what these sessions are about. 
in a sense of kind of explaining what what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. But I'm not sure if I need to do that. I don't know if it's really necessary. It's really just a case of I suppose in a way this is kind of consolidating all aspects of what I do into one thing. Talking, hypnosis, maybe offering some kind of insights or um, ideas, thoughts that may be useful. Maybe reminding you that how amazing you are. You know, at times I think it's useful to be reminded of, you know, there's this, I think all of us have done things in the past that have got, that have, you know, had the butterfly effect in a sense of maybe transforming another person's life. But we may never, ever, ever find out about it because the person that maybe had that transformation, we may never have met. It might be due to something that we said to somebody who then said something to somebody else who then behaved in a certain way and it might be way down the line. It may even be um, the person whose life may be transformed by your actions may not even be born yet. You know, because it might be the parent, the future parent of that child who has this new feeling this new ideas, this new, like changed thought patterns regarding maybe raising a child, realizing that how precious human beings are, and to to treat other humans as if they're the most precious diamond in the world you know I suppose it's a kind of a standard uh, spiritual practice in some ways to think of you know you think of one person in your life that you really really love deeply or have loved deeply you know just someone that just, you know, maybe it's, it's a family member, or it could be, um, well, for me, I guess now it would be Andre, my little ferret, you know, my little boy, Andre. But to, to love someone uh, completely, and then to start seeing other people that maybe you meet that you've never known before, and seeing them as that person, seeing them as special person even though you may not know them don't know really much about them they may be rude to you on that occasion but then you can get into the reality of the situation and realise that we're all rude at some point we all have off days off moments Maybe in person, maybe on the telephone, maybe by email, on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. I won't list all the different websites, but you know, it's sometimes you know we're humans. We say things or write things down, but only later think about it and think, oh. It wasn't a good idea. Perhaps I shouldn't have done that. 
I know I was rude to someone years ago I was rude to someone on the phone and I felt so bad I really really felt bad about it and um, I decided that I would never do that again you know that that's that would never happen again and that lasted for about two days no it didn't I, I, I haven't I really really kind of tried to control it's frustration isn't it really I suppose I mean, used to be frustrated I'm a middle aged man I hadn't had a girlfriend for years I'm used to being frustrated it's uh, my natural state of mind <laughs> so I'll be honest the only thing I'm really frustrated about at the moment is I'm fr not frustrated but I am concerned about the the volume if the volume's okay on this recording on this live broadcast but I think you know I might as well use the technology that's available and make use of it and do my best with it and you know just do the best I can so here I am I've got my iPhone I'm using the app the Spreaker app on my iPhone I'm using the heads, headphone socket so I've got my microphone near my mouth I think it's near my mouth it's just there and hopefully it's loud enough. As I said earlier, I've embedded the live broadcast into my website. I've shared that page. So basically, all you've got to do, if you want to, you may be listening to this somewhere else. If you want to actually listen to it, um, it'll be 10 till 12. That's going to be the time that I'm going to be doing these daily let me bore you to sleep sessions live broadcasted live hopefully if this goes to plan if I can yeah I mean the only I suppose the only real problems would be if I suppose the main problem would be is if the internet shut down because I do sometimes have problems with the internet so if I lost the internet then the broadcast would stop and that would be the end of it so I guess recording it as well separately would be a good idea because then I wouldn't have lost two hours of stuff or an hour and a half or however long I talk for. So yeah, maybe I'll do that. So I'm just going to see, see how it goes. I kind of like the idea of being a radio DJ. I'd like the idea, yeah, I kind of like the idea of doing something like that. But it's not the ideal thing for people to be listening to if they're driving or, you know, things like that. It's more for people that are just, I don't know, maybe lying in bed. Doing whatever you're doing, you know, just lying there. Um, I really wanted to say playing with yourself and I, I don't know why because I didn't I had no intention of saying that it's weird isn't it it's like it's not even what I mean I mean just lying just laying lying in bed is it laying in bed or lying in bed because you know I mean laying in bed seems more because you're laying down lying in bed it seems the same, but at the same time, there's a different meaning, isn't there? It's like, you're just saying stuff that's not true. Telling the fibs. I was born in 1942, you know. I was a film star when I was in my 20s. You know, just some kind of lies. I used to be a giant. Yeah. So I don't know, we'll just see. So back to the 
game, the, the, the meaning of what we're doing. I'm just feeling fairly relaxed and laying, I'm not laying back in my big black squeaky chair, but I am kind of laying on it, even though it's still fairly upright. It's kind of the position that I would sit in if I was watching television. Sort of fairly comfortable. Actually, it's quite comfortable one leg over the other, not in a cross leg position, as if I'm, you know, maybe in a job interview and pretending to be interested, not, not that kind of, but just very relaxed, calm way, got my eyes closed, which I always find is useful, just quite bright in here sometimes at night I find the light is a bit too bright sometimes but I don't have one of those dimmer switches for the like the main light but you know I'm thinking in the future I think I'd quite like to get some of that get like a, a dimmer light So I think it's good to have aims in life. It's good to have, you know, plans and something to look forward to. Some people have a 10 year plan and that involves, you know, maybe traveling the world and maybe getting their ideal dream job. Maybe getting married, having children, possibly, or meeting the, you know, the man or woman of their dreams, or donkey, or you know, whatever, and maybe to live in a big mount mansion on the mountains with a big swimming pool. I'd like a dinner switch on my light. I'm not saying that's all I want. You know, I'm not. I'm not trying to minimise my uh, ambition in life, but I did think about getting some curtains that opened themselves. Just I don't know. Be a bit too. You know that you can get those. I think Alexa or you know the different things you can get now and they can be connected to all different appliances including uh, the curtains that open themselves but I don't know just seeing the curtains open by themselves and seeing the television turning on or the kettle turning on without me touching it or the lights dimmering and you know, things like that reminds me too much of poltergeist it just I don't know I think that maybe I should also it feels a little bit lazy I mean I'm, I know that I'm I'm not lazy lazy but I'm very selective with those things that I get excited about I don't really actually I don't really get excited about things but a little bit like when I was at school I'd only really had I could only really do subjects I was interested in which pretty much reduced all the subjects down to nothing at times it was mathematics, no interest in that. Geography, no interest in that. History, not really interested in that. 
And what other subjects are there? I did home economics. I liked eating the cakes especially. And I didn't mind cooking the cakes. So it wasn't you know, it wasn't terrible. Andre's now gone to eat his food. He's just had a little bit of a, a romantic session in the bedroom. She's with his girlfriend, so he's just gonna He seems to eat a lot more since he's given up smoking. I didn't like some, you know, really religious education. I wasn't really interested in that, although I did. There's a couple of bits. There was a period when I quite liked it because one of my RE teachers, she. Got, she started talking about um, vampires and werewolves and stuff like that and I don't know why actually but I got really really interested in that and I got a bit hugely focused on you know that, like paranormal stuff and yeah very interested and I used to study it Anything to do with witches, you know, monsters, demons, you know, I'd actually go to the library and research these things. If only there was a book there on how to get a girlfriend, perhaps I should have spent more time on reading that kind of stuff. Or how to be a mechanic. You know, something useful. But I didn't. PE, that's physical education. Um, see, I didn't like that either. I didn't really enjoy really any aspect of it. The only thing I did like was dodgeball. Andre is now up again. Talking about dodgeballs, he's now got his face in my balls. What are you doing, Andre? Leave them alone. Give a good old sniff. You know you smell bad when a ferret is sniffing you. Kisses. Kisses, special, special kisses. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Special kisses, wishes. Special kisses, wishes. Yes, yes. Tibbity dobbity do. Tibbity dobbity do. Yes, 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 yes. By the way, I'm talking to Andre. I'm not. Going loopy. I'm he, reaching his ear and he's pushing against it. Oh. So I liked um, dodgeball. The reason I liked dodgeball is because I was really good at it. And I was quite often the last person standing. I I wasn't very big but I was very flexible so I think not being very big was good because you know the ball had less to hit and I was short I was skinny you know so I was but I was able to really bend and move quickly and pretty much do all kinds of somersaulty stuff and avoid the ball And it even got to the point where, so I don't think I was particularly popular, really. I think I think being able to avoid the ball possibly annoyed everybody. 
even those on my own team. So there'd be two of us left, me and and someone the, on the other team, and then the other team would get hit by the ball, and that should have been the end of the game. But it carried on, and both sides were trying to hit me with the ball, even my own side. I didn't quite understand what was going on because the game was over. But it didn't stop me from just dodging it. I like the now. I like another thing I like about dodgeball is it's got the right title. Dodge ball. You've dodged the ball. It's like brilliant. And golf. I've no idea how that came to be. I could Google it, could Wikipedia it, but I can't be bothered. Boxing. Box, box. I suppose it's like a box. You're in a box, aren't you? Not in a box, literally. There'd be no room, and even if it was a big box, so then it'd be dark, wouldn't it? Because even if it was the box was big enough, the size of a ring, it'd be too dark, and you couldn't really have a light in there because that's that'd be a health and safety issue, wouldn't it? The cardboard and electricity, yeah, could cause problems. Um, plus you'd have to, to have it high enough to be able to walk around and stand up and stuff but yeah but so yeah I guess the box was because the the ring was square maybe that they're in it's not really a ring is it nowhere else do you have a square ring apart from maybe other places where the ring is square that I am not aware of. I was supposed to have thunder. Supposed to have thunder over the weekend. I don't know today or tomorrow. Well, it won't be today now because we're nearly at the end. Although it could be today because we've still got another hour or so before the end of the day. Another two hours. And I was watching on the weather forecast, and they said, uh, the "Person on the weather," I said. It's going to be um, going to have loads and loads of rain in one hour. How specific is that? That's really specific, isn't it? It's like you know, pinpointing a particular tree that's going to sway the most in the wind. It's going to rain for one hour. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually measure it. Well not measure I can't measure the rain. But you can measure the rain, can't you? you stick a um, a bucket out of the window and I think I'm not sure how they do it. And how do they measure the rain? I mean you'd have to collect it all wouldn't they? Really? Let's say or oh, six inches of rain or two inches of rain fell in an hour, or six inches of rain fell. It's a guess, really, isn't it? I think it can't be the average because what about those places that don't get any rain? You'd have to spread it over there as well, so it could end up being just an inch. I think I'm making it up I don't know I really don't care but there's things I didn't really enjoy about sports I didn't you know I can't say I've ever really enjoyed getting undressed and dressed in a public place with you know I know the changing rooms technically it's private you know don't share with the girls and it's not you know 
you don't have people paying tickets to come in and um, hopefully you know, there's no gallery of people <laughs> watching but that's not streamed live on the internet uh, but the thing is I just didn't like taking my clothes off in front of other people I still don't really and I don't mean I don't like getting undressed in schools I mean obviously I'm an adult now I'm talking about when I was a child and because I was always I was always pretty much the youngest in my year I was the youngest in my year so I was born at the end of August and some of the, the, the other kids in my year at school were born at the beginning of September. And when I say born, I don't mean we were all fetuses at school every year. I mean, they were older, so they were nearly a year older than me, but they managed to be in the same year as me. So in the last year of school, yeah, I think um, I was an adolescent and I was... Um, you know, everything kind of worked okay as far as bodily and stuff. But some of the other kids in the school, they were like, they were like adults, proper big, strong men. And I was still a teenager, like quite, a little, quite skinny and anyway, the reason I'm telling you this is because well, no, not anything really. I just didn't enjoy getting undressed. Which is weird in a way because I used to live... Firstly, I used to live in a children's home when I was about two years or something more than that, maybe. So I lived in a dormitory with a bunch of other kids. So I'd be getting dressed and undressed all the time. Well, not all the time, but, you know at those times when removing clothes was required, I guess. Um, and I don't remember being shy back then, but it's a long time ago. I can't remember everything. And also grew up in a household with brothers. So... I guess I wasn't bothered back then either but there's something about at school I felt vulnerable it's uh, something about vulnerability I think and also there was fights going off and in the you know in the changing rooms sometimes sometimes even in the shower and I pretty much always missed the shower. I didn't have a shower because I wasn't prepared to get naked, like naked, naked, and go into it. I just didn't seem right, didn't feel right for me. I just, yeah, didn't like it. So I didn't do it. Oh, I didn't, also another thing, I didn't really madly impressed with the gym teacher who really seemed to I don't know, he spent a lot of time in there making sure that everyone was showering he seemed he seemed more interested in the showering than he did in the actual sports part but I'm sure it's fine it's just maybe he was in worried about hygiene But um, cause hygiene is important, isn't it? I must have really stunk. So I never had a shower. I did it at home, but I never had a shower. You know, in, at school. Because I didn't want to be naked. I think I'd have been more comfortable with, uh, with the women, with the girls. Just... I've always liked women. I've always liked girls better than boys, just generally found them 
easier to be around. I say generally, I mean, I just as I grew up, I like the girls. So my best friends were boys, but I've, as an adult, my best friends have been girls quite often, or women, and. Yeah, I think I'd be a bit more comfortable. I like the, I've never been really into the aggression that can come with boys and men. You know, I'm not really that way inclined to, what was it, uh, what's those birds peacocking? Yeah, I'm not really into the showing off trying to be better than other people or trying to be something show how manly I am and because I've never been manly ever and I'm okay I'm at peace with that I really am at peace with that because I don't feel that I need to be Manly. It's kind of weird, really, in a way, because I used to um, see football. I only ever play. Like, I didn't really play football. All I did, first of all, I never got picked, and if I did get, well, I was never picked first. And I was always pretty much the last person to get picked, me and um, the person in the wheelchair, you know, it was kind of, the person in the wheelchair would be picked before me. I mean, I really was picked last most of the time. And it wasn't that I wasn't physically able, you know, I was very, I was quick, I was very physically fit. But lack of motivation, lack of motivation wasn't really, or lack of interest, you know. I said, like, okay, what is it? So the the ball, got to try and get the ball into the net, into the goal. Okay. Oh, by the way, I'm talking, when I say football, um, some of you may call it soccer. And you're all wrong. It's called football. Just thought I'd let you know that. Just for future reference. It's not soccer, it's football. Yep. Football. It's not called the Soccer World Cup, it's a Football World Cup. Yeah, good, 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 good. Glad we've got that sorted. Because unlike the American football, is English football doesn't stop every five seconds. So I'm really surprised. I mean, American football is so um, glamorous, and it's the atmosphere is way better, I think, than anything the English can give. Because the English just get so aggressive with football. And that's why what I don't really like about the game, you know. But in America, it's you, again. I'm only going by what I see on the television because I can't fly out to America to do research for this recording. You know, it just doesn't. I don't have the money for that. But I just see, you know, on TV sometimes these. Uh, football games, American football games, and there's like families, little kids there, and they seem to all be having fun. And just so different from the um, the tribalism that seems to happen in football here. It's very, you know, people they they love their football team as if it's a kind of religion you know which is yeah I just 
never really understood it. I don't want to mock it or anything, I just don't understand it, that's so. all. I've only ever been to one football match ever, and a friend of mine took me. I was working with him, who's younger than me, and he, we went there, it was like a uh, Wednesday night or something, and it was hardly anyone in the stadium at all. The football match was going on. It wasn't like a, it wasn't a big game, it was just a standard game. And what I was surprised is firstly, how small the pitch is when you're actually there. Because I thought it was gonna, because on television the pitch looks massive. But when you're actually in the stadium, it's not that big pitch really and Andre's coming back again to hassle me you coming back again Andre yeah do it yeah he's coming back so with the football I didn't put a lot of effort into playing football Andre sniffing and licking my fingers. What's he doing? You know that bit of skin between your finger and your thumb? That, that bit of... I guess it, it would be webbing if you was a duck. <laughs> I suppose it... Yeah, that's the only way I can describe it. Well, it's kind of a bit of a flappy... It's not flappy, like, it doesn't flap around in the wind. It's not noticeable. But it's a, it is kind of a little bit of skin, isn't it? He he likes to grab hold of that and bite it. Which is... I don't understand why, because... Unless it's got some kind of... A different smell to the rest of me. Is that why, Andre? Does that bit between my finger and thumb smell like a... A girl ferret... Or a Jill. They call Jills girl ferrets. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What does it smell like my old slipper? That is now your girlfriend. Yeah. He's really relaxed and calm. He's just laying back in my hands. I'm just stroking his chest. Scratching his chest lightly. He likes that. Don't you? I can feel his little ribs underneath. His chest bone, his collarbone. And his little ribs on either side. I know it's probably strange, but I actually do massage him. I give him massages. Um, nothing weird, no happy endings, just the general massage. So I like massage his neck, massage his hands, massage his shoulders, massage down his spine, his back. And it's just, you know, his face as well, just mess, just give him a nice little rub and massage, just to, I suppose, a mixture of having that physical connection with him and you know showing him that I love him and that but there's also the I mean massage is good for all of us so I imagine it helps him to because I did actually I studied massage at college quite a few years back so I did well admittedly there wasn't a just fallen off the chair. Sorry, Andre. <laughs> Admittedly, I kind of half pushed him off. He was about to jump onto the the iPhone, and he would have turned it off. I didn't mean to. It didn't. He kind of half fell. I didn't push it, but I kind of prevented him from jumping up onto the table, and he sort of fell off. <laughs> He's okay though. 
Yeah, I did a massage course. I, I think massage is so good for all of us. It's just to, it's like with babies as well. If you can massage their feet and their hands, you know, there's so many nerve endings in our in our feet and hands, and it can, you know, it can help the entire body. And also, touch is important. I mean, I don't have anyone touch me, so I forgot what it feels like, but. I know Andre gives me kisses and cuddles and that, so I suppose that's, that's the best I'm going to get at the moment. But massaging is good. I do, I massage my own hands sometimes. I'd massage my feet if I could find them. So I, I just stick to my hands. Sometimes I massage my back and my neck. And like, you can massage your forehead and your temple and your eyes your jaw your face you can massage your chest you know there's the bits anywhere that your hands can get to basically you can massage so you can provide and you know you physically can reach there without any discomfort you can massage your own shoulders Obviously, with the other hand, unless you're. Actually, I can reach my shoulder with my thumb, but it's a very, be very minimalistic massage. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to write a book about that. Not that I'm going to write a book about massaging anything, really. I don't think it's so. You know, I've been thinking, should I write a book, should I, you know, and it's like, why, yeah, yeah, you know. I mean, anything I do, I just want to give it away for free anyway. I got this real, um, I don't know why, but I seem to have a real dislike for any kind of money-making processes. is strange because I'm going to have to earn money at some point I'm going to need to earn money you know I do worry sometimes about the you know what if what if I need money one day like really you know desperately need money what if uh, someone close to me was ill and I needed to you know, I mean, if something happened to someone that I care about and then needed treatment, medical treatment, an operation, and they were told they'd have to wait three months for the operation, I'd want to get them seen privately and get that operation done tomorrow. I'd like to, not so much for myself, but for other people, I'd like to be in a position one day to be able to do that. And then, you know, but I'm not now. But going back to football, I don't, um, my only success was with football was once I got, um, what do you call it? Triplets? Triplet? You know, I scored three goals. They were home goals, but they were still goals. The thing is, and in my defence, right, nobody told me that we were in the second half and only told me that in the second half you swap over, you swap sides. So they'd swap sides, I thought we were still on that side, so I thought I was doing really well and wondering why no one was getting in my way. And yeah, I scored three goals. I actually thought I was a hero. I probably would have sung Mariah Carey's 
hero had it not been for the fact that the song hadn't been written yet because this is the early 80s I'm talking about I say it hadn't been written yet I mean it might have been written a long time ago I really don't know but he didn't release it until the 90s what about 95? 96? I think it was Music Box wasn't it? that album yeah I think and the other thing I used to do with football or oh, when football was happening is me and my friend we used to not really play, we'd always be in defence, but kind of extra defence, so it wasn't weren't really needed. So quite often we wouldn't even sit, we'd just be off the pitch. And we'd just spin, spin and spin until we got dizzy and fell over. That's pretty much all we did. Just spam until we got dizzy enough to fall over. That was because it was fun. I'm trying to think what other sports I used to do. Basketball. Yeah, I didn't play basketball. I wasn't... Cause I was pretty sure so basketball wasn't really the right game for me to play when I was, you know... I think it's it's really a tall person's game. It doesn't have to be. But I think ideally, if you're going to play it with short people, it's fine, you know. But if you're going to play basketball with people that are nearly six foot, you know, it's it's just not fair. They've got an advantage. So yeah, I didn't. I do. I do. I do. I do. do. I did enjoy chucking the ball at the basket to get it in. You know, just like when there's no one around. Um, because with basketball, I didn't spin round during the basketball because it was inside and the floor was too hard. So if I did that, I'd fall over and I'd hurt myself, I might graze my leg raise my knee or something and I had to keep my knees nice when I became a model what other things tennis tennis was alright of course we only played it in the summer well I say of course but we the, net, the tennis nets were outside and they were put up during the tennis season whenever that is but in the summer and I think I was probably the the second worst tennis player but unfortunately I ended up or fortunately depending on how you look at it I ended up playing the worst who was my best friend and he was he was even worse than I was at tennis so it was quite frustrating I kind of got a little glimpse of what it was like for other people playing with me but I think with me a lot of it was just lack of interest really What's the point I can have here over the, the net? I used to be okay with, with table tennis. I used to have a table tennis table at home. But because I had two older brothers, they were competitive and it wasn't that much fun always being beaten. What other sports? Oh, hockey. I got. Um, Yeah, I got banned from hockey for hitting people with a stick. 
the uh, there's even though we had pads, you know, the shin pads and stuff like that. On. I think someone might hit me in the shin on purpose. So I, I basically started chasing them all over the field. And I wasn't aiming for their shin. So I got banned from playing that game. What other games, what other sports was there? Cricket, that's another one. Yeah, I had to, someone hit me in the knee. So I didn't like that, I got hit in the knee. I had all the pads on, and the one knee that wasn't protected got hit by the ball. As if they like need they like really meant to do it. So uh, you know, the ball ended up back at them. Again, it wasn't their knee that I was aiming at. I think a lot of people hurting me. Just didn't. It's, like, it's not really sportsmanship, is it? What else? What other sports were there? Swimming. Never really been really into swimming. Because, you know, well, what's the point? So it's not really a sport. I mean, it is a sport for people that compete. But at school, it wasn't a sport. It was, it was just a bunch of lads. acting like little apes trying to push each other's heads under the water and it was horrible, I didn't like it so I didn't didn't enjoy going to swimming plus I couldn't swim I didn't help what else? that's most of the sports running Long distance running I was quite good at. I've always had a very slow pulse. I wonder if come back for more. More of the same. You come back for more kisses. And long distance running I was pretty not good at but I could do. But always slow, I was never never really a, a racer. Never really in a hurry. Never been in a hurry. So racing, I did a, I think I've told this story before, but I did a, I ran the 200 meters, thinking I was running the 100 meters. Or it might have been a 400 metres, thinking I was running a 100 metres. And I won that race. Well, I won, I beat everyone to the 100 metre mark. And then they kept on running. So I felt good for a bit. Andre's now jumping up at the radiator. I don't know, what, what does he expect to accomplish from that? He thinks I'm going to take him out at 11 o'clock at night, and I'm really not going to do that. It's not going to happen. Not in any... No, not in any place. Any place? Is that a, is that a proper thing? in any any world am I going to do that take about uh, at night it's getting a bit chilly in here now as well a little bit cold just a little bit not cold cold but just a bit ooh can't 
think of any other I can't think of any other sports that I used to indulge in I wonder what other ones there were rounders rounders was okay I quite like rounders one of the reasons for it is because I had a soft ball so if you got hit by the ball it didn't it wasn't like a, a major thing see I quite like that I think the only thing I, I struggled a little bit of hitting the ball with the rounders bat but I felt more included with rounders because everyone's kind of there everyone's involved it was yeah it was quite cool and it wasn't like um, with cricket you'd be stuck on you know you'd, you'd keep hitting it and you stay on I think with rounders you'd hit the ball once and then you start running it's uh, so I think it's much more fun than cricket to, yeah I think I'd, I suppose rounders is baseball isn't it in America baseball the, I don't know all the rules behind it but I just think that I don't think the ball should be chucked so hard and it should be chucked underarm nice and softly so the person that's about to back can see the ball and have a really good good swing at it really maybe that defeats the object but makes sense to me I feel a bit hungry now so I feel I'm going to go and add something to eat I don't know if I'm going to do another live one I don't know how it's working out don't even not even sure if anyone's even listened while it's been live really don't know anyway as Andre's going to be making a bit of noise as he's eating his dry food I'm going to sign off for tonight I'm going to go and make myself a nice little sandwich So I've done an hour and a half. I'm done. I've done an hour and a half. So there's still an hour and a half left if I wanted to continue. But um, that's all right. I'm going to go. <sighs> Please remember to visit my website, jasonnewland.com. And I'll keep you updated and I'll. I'm going to try and sort out some kind of a routine for these sessions, but I don't know if I don't know if there will be. Really, don't know. I hope to do that. Okay. See you later. Take care of yourselves. Lots of love. Bye. <laughs>